Hi guys, it's monthly favorites time. I have kind of a new batch of favorites for the month of November. I, I feel like my previous favorites I would use kind of a lot of the same stuff. I would try to like find new things that I was really really loving that month and be able to incorporate new things, but I feel like I probably have all new things this month if I'm not mistaken. So let's get right into it. Okay, my first favorite is by Paracone, and it is their Face Finishing Moisturizer. This stuff, I am telling you, is amazing. It is like, first of all, it smells like, I don't know, it doesn't smell like something yummy. It smells like I mean, honestly, it smells like vanilla plastic, but I love the way it smells for some reason. So it's really, really hydrating. And what I usually do is I'll use it right before my makeup. And a lot of moisturizers, you can't put them on right before your makeup. You have to wait for a long time to let them soak in. Um, this one soaks in immediately, and right away your face is prepped and ready for makeup. It is so, so nice for in the morning, right before you're going to get ready. Um, you can get this at Sephora. And in fact, at Sephora, they call it like the makeup artist ideal um, moisturizer or like the perfect moisturizer for a makeup artist or something like that because it really does hydrate the skin perfectly and get it prepped for makeup, but it also just soaks in really, really quickly, which is awesome. The second thing that I have in my favorites this month is the Sephora, um, what is it? It's like the Sephora Collection brand, and it says Instant Nail Polish Remover. So it's like this little can jar thing, and you open it, and inside there's like the little sponge, and then you stick your fingers inside, and this works so quickly, it's stupid. Like, I put my, foot, I put my finger in it and pulled it out, and as long as you don't have glitter on, a couple times in and out is done like you are totally done and your nail is clean and like I'm wearing red right now which is chipping off but this red nail polish it doesn't stain my nails you know how sometimes red nail polish will stain your nails um, it does not do that it comes off so clean and it's awesome and then if you have glitter like I do on like a couple of my nails then it just takes a couple more times and a little bit more work to get it off but I mean, what gets glitter nail polish off? Nothing. Like, death gets glitter nail polish off. But anyway, this stuff is really, really awesome. And I was really surprised. Um, I got it and I was like, you know, I don't have high hopes for it because I know it's just a nail polish remover. And, um, you know, not that I would think it was a bad nail polish remover, but nail polish remover is nail polish remover, right? Um, but this stuff is amazing. It works so quickly and I just love it. The next thing that I have to show you... Uh, there's hair in it. So this is my wet brush. I hope you can't see that there's like hair in it. Don't look. It's called a wet brush. That's the brand. It says it right there. Um, I got this when I went to get my hair cut this month and I literally have not gone in for a haircut for two years, almost two years. My hair was so long. It was down to like my hips, like really long. So I got six inches cut off and you can't even tell because it's still really long. But um, my stylist, like shampooed my hair and everything and then all of a sudden she's brushing my hair when my hair's soaking wet and I'm like whoa like you can't do that and I kind of had an internal freak out for a second and she started at the top like if you brush your hair when it's wet you better just start at the bottom at the ends and work your way up or it's gonna be a giant mess especially in my hair but she started at the top and it just went straight through and I was like what is this magic you're using? So it's called a wet brush because you can use it when your hair is wet and it won't damage and break off your hair like a lot of brushes will. As soon as I get out of the shower, you know, like I've conditioned and whatnot and I can just brush through my hair. It's really, really trippy actually, but it's cool. This next favorite is kind of an eternal favorite. I think this will always be in my favorites, um, but it's kind of bittersweet this month and I'll tell you why. So my favorite is the Clarisonic and I have the Clarisonic Pro. Um, I think the only difference between the Pro and the Clarisonic Plus is that this one has five speeds and the Plus has three or four, I'm not sure. Um, and it's like bigger than the Mia and the Aria, so it's like the heavy duty kind of one. This is the one that's like, found in spas and stuff like that. It's bittersweet this month because I've had this thing for probably around two years, almost two years, and it has been such a champ. I absolutely cannot live without this. I have to Clarisonic my face every single night. I don't do it twice a day. I only do it at night after I take my makeup off. And I have a video about that too. I'll link it down below. But the other night I was taking my makeup off and then I turned this on. It started buzzing, but it was like a sad, 
quiet buzz and it wasn't quite right. And so um, I tried it on my face. I was like, well, whatever. Maybe it's just like the battery's low or something. Um, and it didn't even do anything. Like it wasn't even moving and like massaging and like deep cleansing like it's supposed to. So I got really sad and I literally laid in bed. Just like fuzz. I literally laid awake in bed that night and could not sleep for a while because I was like, oh my gosh, my face is gonna break out. It's gonna happen all over again. There's nothing I can do about it because my Clarisonic's dead. So in the morning I called and they said, like they were super cool about it. The Clarisonic is always really cool about standing behind their products. And they said they'd send me a new one because they said it's gonna be like seven to 10 days. It's been, I, I looked at my calendar today and I was like, okay, how many days has it been? It feels like it's been an eternity. It's only been five days. So I have a couple more days to go and hopefully my skin survives the journey in between Clarisonics, but that is why this is in my favorites because I kind of realized this month how much I am in love with this thing. Um, next is my Makeup Forever Elixir. Makeup Forever HD Elixir. So this is... It's not quite a primer and it's not quite a moisturizer. It's definitely not like a lotion um, formula. It's kind of more like a gel. Um, and you kind of pull it out and like drop it like this. It does kind of look like a gel. It's like gloopy. It's also another good way to just hydrate your face really well before you put on makeup because it also does sink into the skin. With this stuff, it's best if you actually have a few minutes before you do your makeup, like 10-15 minutes. Put this on, wait like 10-15 minutes and it'll do all of its work, like plumping and hydrating your skin. You can also use it for your lips. So when I start doing my makeup, I always do a moisturizer and um, like a lip treatment so that by the time I get around to my lips, which I do last, they'll be all primed and ready to go and moisturized. You can use this for both, which I think is really super cool. Last, but absolutely not least, is my new favorite foundation. This is the Hourglass Immaculate Foundation. Um, I'm in the shade Shell, if you're curious. It says mattifying and oil-free. So I have kind of combination to oily skin, but it's mostly just like my forehead, like T-zone. I call it the F-zone actually, because it's like here on both sides. It's like an F. I don't know. I think it's clever. But this is an amazing foundation if you haven't tried it it will keep if you have like oily skin it will keep your skin matte all day long and you don't even need a powder it's ridiculous um, it comes in a pump which I love because it's hygienic and I'm a germ freak and that makes me happy I've also been using I've got like a sample from Sephora of the um, hourglass veil mineral primer which is the white one and that one's supposed to be good for sorry I'm like playing with it clicking it on and off that one's supposed to be good for oily skin too and the combination of this and the primer is astounding I just cannot get enough of it it also works really well with um, the benefit professional but I just love that hourglass primer I don't know if I am brave enough to spend that much money on a primer but I think it's totally worth it and it will last a long time too because it's in like a bottle like this size so anyway, um, one more note about this. I was watching a video by Makeup by Tiffany D and she was talking about her Hourglass Immaculate Foundation and she was saying that you're not supposed to use it with a sponge and I've never heard that and I don't know what the reasoning would be behind Hourglass saying that um, but I use it with a beauty blender and it works fine. I'm, I don't want to use it with a brush because the brush tends to soak up too much makeup and this stuff is expensive and a little bit doesn't really go very far with this stuff so I want to conserve as much as possible. That is it for my November favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and comment down below and let me know what you're loving this month and let me know if you have any video requests and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!